morning, ladies and ghouls. As the skeleton swings from his noose once again, we are headed on an adventure to court to where his fearless leader will find out what happens today. I had wanted to give you guys some GoPro footage because the weather outside is like really cool on the way there and it would have been something, but I put the GoPro up there and I go to turn it on and it doesn't turn on. It's like, why isn't it turning on? Because the battery's dead. Yay, here's to thinking ahead. See this right here is why I wanted to film with the GoPro because look. Up. Yes, thank you, I'll, I'll take my exit. Yeah, she actually told me to get on I-5 northbound and then take the freeway, which I thought was hilarious because I had no choice. I was already on the freeway. I-5 is the freeway and I was on the freeway and she told me to take the freeway. It's just so funny. Anyway, look at that. Look at the stormy skies there. The big American flag. And then back behind us, the sun. Pretend to be a GoPro. Take the exit left. After one quarter mile, take the exit left. Take the exit left. Then keep left. Keep left. I know to keep left. Old buildings. All right, guys. So back from court, and I just uh, found out today that um, in July, when we finally, finally go to the trial for my son, it could take three days. So, coincidentally, I canceled my health insurance today. That saves me a little bit more every month. Um, horrible, horrible, horrible stuff. Anyway, but today was good. Anyway, you can't eat, stop eating. I don't wanna give you the hiccups. Have you ever seen a dog with hiccups? <laughs> it can happen. I was scaring her. Come here. Cause she's fun to scare. Okay, get, get, okay, stay there and be scared. <laughs> She's such a good dog. <laughs> She's like, yes, yes, daddy, yes, yes, I love you. Speak, let the world know. Speak, good girl, speak again and again. Okay, just one more time. Okay, that's good enough. Guys, look. Do you see what I see? It's a rainbow, look at that. Woo! So when you want to do something at a red light, not enough time. If you're in a rush to get somewhere, it lasts forever. That's like Murphy's red light law. So we haven't really had a time to talk, guys, about the, the different kinds of logs that I've done in the last couple days. I know that you guys like the ones, or the one that I did a couple days ago. The one last night, um, you'll notice that I tried just like filming a bunch of shots and then um, uh, voiceover. And I, I thought that was kind of cool. That was kind of fun to do too. Um, although I'm never very coherent or, or intelligent stuff doesn't come out of my mouth like all the time, very often, ever. Uh, but anyway, so I thought it was kind of fun. And I was just rambling so that we could try to get another uh, view of the rainbow because God knows, I would love to find the end of the rainbow and find my pot of gold. I'm sure that all of us would. Where did that, is it a folk tale or wives tale or or, or just, I don't know what, what you would even call it. Leprechauns and the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. What is that called? Folklore? No. What's the word? See, I told you, intelligent stuff just doesn't come out. I'm calm now. Anyway, I'm just wondering where that whole thing originated from, like the gold, that, or the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and the leprechauns. Because there's gotta be, there's gotta be two ends of every rainbow. So is the gold only at one end? Or is it at both ends? Here we go, fighting for a place to fill up gas. Can I get over there before somebody else does? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The only bad thing about having prices so low is that everybody is like, Everybody like scrambles to like get a fuel pump and then like people get PO'd because, yeah, look at that. Okay, people get PO'd because, oh, you stole my spot trying to get fuel. It's like, people need to have patience. Wait your turn. It's okay. That's amazing. That is clearly amazing. 
Here's something else that I've kind of, kind of wanted to do. You guys notice I'm doing different things with cameras and stuff like that, just because it's interesting and it's fun, and I've never really, like, gone out of my box before as far as, like, filming, like, different ways and stuff, because I didn't really think that there was a different way. I, I don't know. I was just blind to it, I guess. But I would love to be able to do the GoPro footage from sunrise to sunset, so dark to dark. But if it were to only take 30 seconds, would you guys watch that? It's only 30 seconds, less than a minute. Maybe a minute, maybe a minute. And then you have neat scenarios like this where it's raining, but the sun is clearly shining. Weird. Absolutely weird. Look at that, that's just strange. Officially, I think our weather has become bipolar and more. Just made it home and I don't understand it. Look at that. It's raining and it's sunshiny. I know, I don't understand it either, but you're not gonna go out and investigate. That's ah, just, I mean, I understand it. There's a cloud up above us, blah, blah, blah. It's just funny. Not only can you see the rain, you can also see my dirty windows, which are dirty on the inside. Not on the inside this side of it, but on the inside inside because my windows leak and need to be replaced. But that that's neither here nor there, nor there. Look outside. Uh, actually, maybe I lied. Oh, maybe I do need to clean them. Ha, ah, never mind. <laughs> By the sound of the bark, that means it's 5.30. That worked out well. <sighs> it is getting dark outside, but it's not dark outside yet. So do you know what that means? That means that summertime's coming. Do you know what that means? That means no <laughs> rain. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, no, no, enough. Your cue is not now. No, not now. Anyway, working on a car, guys. That's what I'm doing, because that's what I do sometimes when I have work. This, oh my gosh, this month so far, horrible. Very, very horrible. Um, I hope to get to the track a little bit tonight. Like I said, I want to get it done. Um, and Jason Christopher 77 posted down in the comments down below, what happened to the bathroom remodel? Well, I did mention it a while ago, several weeks ago, that um, I need to concentrate on projects. Because you guys told me that too. It's like, concentrate on one project at a time, Troy. So I'm like, okay. So I'm trying to get the roller coaster in Phoenix's room done. Just, just this part. I just want to get it done, functionable. Then I'll do the bathroom. And then, maybe, I'll work on this. You guys remember this? Yeah, this is a whole tombstone thing right here. Uh-huh, yep, yep. Yup, yup, another unfinished project. It happens, life happens. If you guys knew, I'm not, hold on. I'm not saying that you guys haven't gone through harder times. I'm not saying that some of you aren't going through hard times. But, if you guys knew exactly what I was going through, you totally understand, totally. It's amazing that I still do this. And for those of you who know me personally and who have talked or whatnot, you know, you know. Oh gosh, it's just such a headache. Such a major drag, dude. You guys have, wow, you caught me just as my butt dinged. Oh yeah, my butt dinged. You wanna see it, you wanna see my butt? You've heard me say before that dogs are like kids. So let me ask you guys this question. I need to ask you a question. Um, I'm about ready to go. And I'm going to go out with a friend to eat. Buffy wants to go. But she's going to have to sit in the truck. And she sits there. She's content. She's happy. She sits there and just chills. But she really wants to go. Now knowing that most of the time that we go out in the truck, she ends up sitting in the seat. Do you think that she's smart enough? Like a kid would be like, wow, I didn't get, get to buy anything at the store when we went last time or the time before that, or the time before that, yeah, I don't want to go. Do you think that dogs would ever learn that? Or they just want to go where you go? Do you want to go where I go, no matter what? You're such a good companion, look at that. Look at that, okay. I've got my mind made up, I'll bring her along. She can stare at people while they stare at her. Guard the truck? Are you gonna guard the truck and lick anybody that tries to take it? All right. All right, we talked about this. Maybe I'll bring you something. All right, guys, let's go eat some Mexican food. I'm feeling like some Mexican tonight, Holmes. I love authentic Mexican restaurants. Love them. I need to give you guys some Halloween relation for the day. Here you go. I will even, look at this. I will even be so nice. I will come down here, and I will plug it in to the plug. Buffy will be like, what?
<laughs> there. There's your guys' Halloween reference of the day. Look at this. I still have it up. I'm not taking it down. I'm leaving it up all year. Because I can. Yep. Leaving it up all year. So, oh, I know that several of you, I, I know that Halloween happy right now. I know Sam is happy that I showed this, if she sees it. I hope a lot of you are. A lot of this stuff, hold on. A lot of this stuff was uh, given to me by you guys. I know Triv27 had a hand in this. And, um, man, so, so many of you. Adam Owens had a hand in this. And I know I'm going to be leaving people out, and I, I apologize for that, but it's just really cool. Okay, so the whole reason why I turned the camera on, Buffy, that's the whole reason. Because I just got through, like, going through and trying to train her on stuff, and we were playing around on the floor, having fun and stuff. But I, I got to thinking afterwards, it's like, oh, man, I should have had the camera rolling, should have put it in high speed. It would have been so entertaining, and I didn't. So, you can never have too much training. I mean, you can, can't teach an old dog new tricks, which actually they busted that myth. It's easier to teach an old dog new tricks than it is a new dog new tricks. So they say. You want to learn? Watch this. She's getting really good right now. Speak. Oh, now she's making a liar out of me. Speak. <coughs> good girl. Come on. No. No, no, no. Come here. Sit. <coughs> hey. Shh. Oh, look. You can see her breath. That's how cold it is in here. <coughs> Down. Roll over. No, no. Come here. Come here. Sit. <laughs> Did you just get attacked by the microphone cord? That was priceless. That was awesome. Up. Uh, come on. Sit. 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 It means butt down. Sit. Good girl. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no. Down, down, now roll over, roll over, all the way, good girl, there you go, good girl, good girl, good girl, girl, roll over, roll over, roll over, yeah, woo, good girl, good girl, that's my dog, dog, yeah, uh, 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 uh. good girl, good girl, good girl. Oh my gosh. Okay, this has just been a 12 minute raw clip. That's like 2.5 times 12 in editing. That's how long it takes to edit about 12 minutes of video. So half of 12 is six, so 12 and 12 is 24, 30. Half hour, a half hour to edit 12 minutes. That's why I shoot to edit now and I don't just shoot a bunch of footage. Ladies and ghouls, it is not time for COC. As you can tell by the video length and the time remaining, um, it is 3.16 in the morning right now, so I'm going to go to bed because I deserve to go to bed. I shouldn't have to stay up all night. I know, I know, I should plan better and not have this happen, but I was doing paperwork and stuff like that and time kind of gets away from you. So. With that being said, tomorrow is probably going to be a short vlog because I have my son. So uh, we will get caught up on COC tomorrow night, maybe, hopefully. I'm hoping. <laughs> um, so happy haunting. Thank you guys for watching. And hey, I had some Halloween stuff in the vlog today. Pretty cool, huh? Imagine a Halloween channel with Halloween content. What a novel idea. All right, guys. Happy haunting. See you guys tomorrow. I don't think this is the Hellmouth anymore, Toto.